today, I'm going to show y'all how, how to clone yourself. Bro, come on. I can't even do my intro. Damn. I'm Dre, and this is 3 Minute Thursday, where just like the title, I have 3 minutes to teach y'all whatever you want to learn. For today's tutorial, I'm showing y'all how to do the clone effect from the intro of this video. With that being said, I'm pushing for 5k subs before the end of the year, so if you're watching this and you haven't, make sure to subscribe. But anyways, let's get 3 minutes on the clock and get started. Now there are three very important things that I'll be going over in this video and it's essential that you follow along step by step without skipping because missing a single step could make this from a very eye-catching and clean effect to something very amateur. These three things are the planning stage, how to go about filming, and the last piece of the puzzle which is editing. The first thing you should be doing before even trying to pick up a camera is to plan. Now I know this seems boring but it's very difficult to execute effects like this without some type of idea of lighting, how you want your clone to come in, or even something as simple as if they'll be interacting or not. Your mind is literally the limit when it comes to content and editing. But even with the best ideas in the world, you're likely to fail without some type of plan. So here's my plan. I know I want my clone entering the scene to interrupt my intro and essentially steal my line. To make this realistic, I need to not only film a clip where I'm walking in and saying the line, but we also need a clip of me fake reacting to the door opening. And of course, we want our lighting to be identical for both shots. So filming somewhere where the light will be changing is a no -go. But now that I have a rough outline of what my end product will be like, we can finally set up to start filming. Now to film this effect, it's very important that you do not, and I repeat, do not try to film these clips freehand. One thing that makes our life super easy in the edit is having our clips shot with the same background. Use a tripod or set your camera up somewhere it won't move. And a tip that I've learned from doing this effect many times over the years is to film all the clips you need in one continuous shot. And this is because each time that you go to start and stop your camera, the chances increase of you accidentally moving your camera. And even the slightest bit of movement can add a few minutes or even a few hours to the edit. So you definitely don't want to be lazy and for sure want to be careful. Now in filming your clips, draw an imaginary line down the center of your frame. With the first clip, just try to stay in one half of the frame. In my case, I stayed to the right and tried my best not to move past the imaginary middle line. Now onto our second clip, go ahead and just do the opposite and try your best to stay away from the middle of the frame. And now that we have these, it's time to go edit and make some magic happen. For today's tutorial, I'll be using Premiere Pro to edit this effect, but y'all can use whatever editing software you feel comfortable with. But once we have our timeline open, go ahead and import our clips and cut them to your desired length. Now go ahead and grab our second clip and move it to the track above our first one. And obviously drag the clip over and set the timing that you want. Now we're gonna go ahead and look for the masking tool and draw a straight line mask. Go ahead and try your best to line it up to the middle of your frame. And if our two clips were shot with the same background, then you should have made a successful clone. But in the cases that your clips don't line up like mine, you could always try lowering the opacity of the clip on top, then just try your best to line them up. But worst comes to worst, if you aren't able to make it work, I'd recommend just going back and filming your clips again. But now that you've learned these basics, there are plenty of ways that you can implement them in your videos. But unfortunately, now that your videos are fire your photos have to be fire too and you're in luck because last week's three minute thursday shows y'all exactly how to get this viral brent phase filter on your photos in just under three minutes so if you're interested in that make sure to go check that out as well as my other content and as always have a good day and peace